Good afternoon, or uh, good evening. This, um, this, tonight or this afternoon, I'm going to cover how to install Internet Information Services, IIS, on a Windows 10 computer. This installation can be used on a Windows um, cloud-hosted server platform if you've got a license and a subscription to that. I haven't bought any subscription for it um, and I've just had a client that's reached out to me and they want me to set up a web server on a Windows system that requires Microsoft SQL um, or SQL Express and so uh, I thought since I'm going to do it from scratch let me make this video so that I can show others and hopefully it can teach you something especially those that are a lot younger than me that are entering the market now um, yeah you might find this useful hopefully you do um, yeah so without further ado let's just get started um, so basically what's happened is I've gone and installed Windows 10 on uh, VirtualBox my favorite uh, virtualization software that I normally use okay so this is my normal screen um, I've got a strong internet connection. I don't, won't need the internet connection for this, but what I will need is I will need my Windows 10 uh, image that I've got. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the um, find icon. I don't know about you, but I hate it when uh, they put the search and then this whole search bar is at the bottom over here. And so the way that I do it is I right click on the bar over there, click on search and I just change it from show search bar like this because you see how it moves all the icons there. I just right click on it, go to search and say show search icon. So you still have the search option but it's just not taking up the whole bottom bar. So anyway, I just click on search over here and I type in control panel. And I'll wait for it to find the control panel. And there we go. It's got it. Okay. Now I must warn you that this is a brand new fresh installation of Windows 10. It's got hardly anything loaded on it. It is a 64-bit system and it's running on 2 gigs of uh, memory. Okay. So I normally change this category to large icons um, because I came from this era where you used to be able to find all your stuff here like this. So program and features. I click on program and features. And here we go to turn Windows features on or off. Okay. Should be presented with a screen similar to this one okay and basically what we want to do is we want to activate this internet information uh, services okay I see they've got something else here internet information services hostable web core I don't know what that is um, but I want to just activate this for now you can even activate the FTP server just make sure that you've got uh, whatever you want ticked over here um, I'm actually just going to install all of it why not just take all of it um, IIS6 management scripting you name it let's just do it ok I'm not going to worry about the rest of these features so obviously this is uh, what will be needed eventually um, especially SB .NET and uh, our .NET framework, but let's just let's just take what we've got here. Um, let me see if it's. Oh, I'm just going to make it like that. Click on OK, and now it will try and search for the files and start adding them.
as you can see it says the window has completed the requested changes you can click on close and now when I have a look over here I should find um, internet information services Yeah, must be under these accessories. Administrative tools. There we go. Internet information services. So this um, this will open up internet information services, and I think it should have actually created a folder called CINet on the drop but I don't know if that only comes after the application like I say I haven't done this in quite a few years I used to really load up this and play with it as an intranet Yeah, there we go. So this INET pub is the new folder that would have been created with the Internet Information Store. And here you will find is your root folder. So this is where you would uh, generally put files, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, because it's got here. And it says ISS start. So if we double click on this IIS start, you should see a page opening showing that um, Internet Information Services is working. So a screen like this would show, and then this shows you that you've got, um, you've got Internet Information Services operation. So thank you for watching this video. I hope that it's been a little bit helpful and informative and it's shown you how to install IIS on a Windows 10 brand new computer. Thanks, goodbye.